Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 6th, 2022. Well, welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. A look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at here, the last 48 hours on our sun, last few images showing a strong M class solar flare. On the left hand side, you'll see it coming in. This was in an earth facing fashion, pretty much. So we were hit instantly. Radio frequencies being affected. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have that bright cresting region on the right hand side. And that is where that solar flare came from. Watch for the last few images right there. Looking at outgoing, not much to talk about. No new CMEs have been thwarted our way. And the solar flare, the M-class solar flare, do not produce a CME. Another closer look here at the region and the M-class solar flare. Amazing imagery here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Watch this region there. Definitely a highly energetic region. Looking at multi-spectrum. That is the most active region on the sun right now. And there's some activity on the backside as well. Noting today you'll see in the Lasco 3 image showing a sun diving comet heading into southern parts of our sun. Plasma filaments still dominating the southern hemisphere. Having a look here, 193 angstroms, one earth-facing coronal hole right now. And we are expecting to see an increase in solar winds by the 9th, 8th into the 9th, the same time we're having a lunar eclipse. November 8th and into the 9th. Solar X-ray flux, as you, seen, as you can see, jumped up into a high M-class range, probably an M3.5, but producing an R1 geomagnetic storm instantly. And our KP index is sitting at 2. Having a look here at the highest frequency affected and pretty much the cosmic energy absorbed into our atmosphere. Last few images there. Sixth, going into the seventh, as we just had that large M-class solar flare. Having a look here at LASCO-3, showing that sun-diving comet in the southern hemisphere. Cool stuff right there as well. Mars and Venus in view. Real-time solar wind sitting at 397 kilometers per second. Coming right down after that coronal hole wind stream, and we are awaiting the next one. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing this space weather event coming from the 9th until the 11th. Schumann Resonance for today, healthy spike up into the 23. Quick look here at the telemetry. And most times we do see a Schumann spike when we see a, a solar flare affecting us. Amplitude 23, quality 7.2. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. And it's been stagnant, I guess. It's been just under 200, or 200 earthquakes across the USGS. Pretty rare earthquake here to report. Colorado City, Arizona reporting a 3.8 earthquake today. 15 kilometer depth. Make sure that's correct. Arizona, that's right. 3.8 earthquake. And as well, a couple uh, minor earthquakes. Oklahoma, minor activity. Hawaii. Mauna Loa still increasing activity. Alaska saw a sizable 5.1 earthquake there today. Hadak, Alaska at a 48 kilometer depth, 5.1 magnitude. Minor activity continuing up into Anchorage. 5.2 earthquake here to report. Shikotan, Russia, 20 kilometer depth. As well, the Philippines plate has been a rock in Tabila 4.9, but we did have a larger one reported there earlier today, 5.6. A 
Manado, Indonesia, 239 kilometer depth, 5.6 as well, 4.9 there. Kokopo, Papua New Guinea, 4.4. Solo, Vanuatu, and then interesting and rare earthquake, Pangai, Tonga, 4.1. 245 kilometer depth though. Almost the deepest earthquake past 24 hours. 5.6, Indonesia beats that. Magnitude 4 is running up from India northward to Uzbekistan. 4.6s, as well as 4.5 here to report in Kokstad, South Africa. 5.2, Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. 5.1, South Sandwich Islands. And looking over South America, 5.0 rang out in Chipispaya, Peru, 25 kilometer depth, but still way too quiet. South America, Central America, having a quick look at the last seven days across the planet. Take a quick moment to thank everybody for tuning in. Really appreciate that you like to stay aware and prepared as I do on these daily events, earthquakes, volcanoes, extreme weather, and of course, space weather. Lots of activity through the Atlantic this week, and as well, the North American plate saw a bit of release, some rare earthquakes ringing out. Heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared, and maybe have yourself an emergency bag ready. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world. As well, the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Active 94 hazards right now. And about 10 volcanoes getting updated today. Starting out here with Sabancaya in Peru. Popocatito in Mexico. Manam, Papua New Guinea. Sangue in Ecuador. Fuego in Guatemala. Reventador in Ecuador. Shevelich, Russia. Minor tsunami watch was put out with that 5.1 at Alaska, ERA in Japan, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Swiss de Najima in Japan. And that is amongst the 50, if not 54, volcanoes that are active and erupting across the planet. Give you a quick browse at all of the cloud cover, satellite imagery around the world, and as well showing here all of the alerts. Many fire alerts through Northern Territory, Australia. Flood alerts through Indonesia. Eastern shorelines of Africa, flood alerts, and as well central regions. And stormy conditions moving into Europe this week. Very strong Atlantic storms heading in your way. Having a look here at windy forecast, showing the windy models for the next few days. As you can see, huge system developing through the Atlantic, but we also have a very strong and windy system that's going to be developing across eastern Canada. And that is for next weekend. Could have a possible super storm developing there. Expecting 65 kilometer per hour sustained winds there along the Atlantic coastline. Probably 30 sustained through parts of Ontario. Have a look at the precipitation models here for the next few days. Wet along the west coast. And most of this moisture has been heading northeast into the Hudson Bay and then blanketing Quebec. A lot of Quebec is already covered in a lot of snow. Major snowstorms moving in for the long-range forecast for Quebec, Hudson Bay Area, and as well, Manitoba. Overlooking Europe, big low-pressure systems grinding in off the coastline, heading into the United Kingdom. But other than that, no major systems affecting you, and not much moisture is in the forecast here until the long-range forecast. Got a few lows spinning around Spain. next weekend and no tropical systems here developing or forecasted for the next few days for the west pacific 
but still some stormy conditions developing in the long-range forecast for Australia, as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. For more detailed forecast, check out last night's video. Let's have a quick look at temperatures. Let's see what's going to be happening here across North America. Extreme Arctic outflow is heading in through parts of BC and Alberta. And then Saskatchewan and as far south as Montana. And these cold temps are going to be reaching pretty far south this week. Heads up. Polar outflow. Overlooking the rest of the world. Still pretty warm through parts of the United Kingdom. Most of this cold is hanging out over Russia. Minus 30 and colder. I want to thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button and maybe share with a friend or family. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.